Okay, so we have liquid, 100 milliliters of liquid water in that flask. What we're going to do is apply heat to it. Uh, as we apply heat to it, um, the liquid water will be converted or change phases into gaseous water. So we're going to place it on here. I'm wondering what's going to happen to the volume. Okay, the volume. Which one have a bigger volume, the liquid or is it the gas? So we're going to take that liquid and change it all into a, a gas and find out which had the greater volume. Now what you're noticing here right away is that you're seeing bubbles at the bottom, okay? Um, and the bubbles are being converted into a, a gas, and the gas bubbles are rising to the top and popping, okay? So the gas is then going into the flask, and then the flask is taking up the entire flask. It's invisible. You can't see it until it hits the inside of this container, which is cooler, and it starts condensing back. But some of it actually will rise and continue up into the balloon. Okay? So what we're going to do right now is come back here and take a look at the balloon. So because the balloon is getting bigger, that would tell you right now that the volume of the gas is more than the liquid. All that liquid hasn't been changed yet. We had 100 milliliters of space for liquid. And if you notice, the inside this balloon is not liquid water. Okay? It's not solid water. It's gaseous water, water vapor. Okay? Some of it's hitting the uh, balloon and definitely converting back into a liquid, and you'll just start seeing some of it come back into that. What I want to share with you is the amount of the size of this balloon. Okay, the size of that balloon. I don't know if you can see, but that size of that balloon. Okay. Now the size of that balloon right now, if you look at it in terms of this beaker, it is bigger than this beaker. Okay. That means the amount of space this gas is taking up is over a thousand milliliters. So I'm curious, it does 100 milliliters of liquid water, is it equivalent to 1,000 milliliters of gaseous water? That's my question. So we have to find out how much liquid is actually gone. So if you come down here and take a look at this, I'm going to turn the heat off for a second. It starts bubbling. Okay? So if you know something that's dripping back down in. And how much liquid water is actually gone? How much liquid is actually gone? Not much. Actually, and if you look, the balloon is still that size. And it's you know how much actually is left? Is one milliliter. So again, how much is one milliliter of liquid? Okay. One milliliter of liquid is probably how much you can fit into an eyedropper. So realistically, I'm gonna try this experiment again with just that much water. So I'm gonna tell you, I could take that much water and change it all to a, a gas. And it should occupy this amount of space, a thousand. So one milliliter of liquid is equivalent to a thousand milliliters of, of gas. So let me just show you. I'm going to go ahead and come back out here. Um, I didn't mean to do that. Is that this is the gas? One thousand milliliters. This was the liquid. So this is how much space the liquid takes, it takes up, one milliliter, and the gas takes up this much space. So visually, you can see gases take up a lot more space. Okay, so liquid versus gas. Now if I take this and put it down here, turn the hot plate off, it's going to start to release energy give energy to its surroundings. So everything around it, this including, will get warm, okay? Everything will get warm. So you're noticing what this is doing here is the gas is going back to a liquid because it's less than 100 degrees inside there, and it's collecting the water here. So if I take, pick this up, you'll notice that this liquid that's actually, the gas has changed to liquid will come back into the flask. Watch when I dump it back in. See that? So I can collect some more liquid. I have to be careful here a little bit. I've made some mistakes and accidents over my time. 
is that if this, if I'm not paying attention and this thing gets too heavy with liquid, it tips this thing over and pops it. Sometimes the balloon comes shooting off. Um, but right now I can get this to happen quicker by taking energy because my hands are actually cooler than the balloon. It's energy is going from the balloon to my hand, causing it to go into the liquid state. So gas to a liquid is called condensation, the opposite of boiling, right? So here, adding heat causes a liquid to gas, releasing heat, gas back to a liquid. To show you again, there's a lot of liquid in there. Watch this. Not a lot, but again, that 1,000 milliliters I could actually, what, what I probably should do would be good is to take that 1,000 milliliters of space of gas and then make it all turn into liquid and pour it into and measure it. It would be a good experiment to try. I've never tried that. Or tried to fill this up with just one milliliter of liquid and have it all convert into that. I'll try these a little later on. See the size of that now compared to what it was. Okay. It's a lot bigger. Okay. So. Turn this off.